everyone. You're welcome to another episode of Mathematics Tutorials on Facebook. My name is Eric. Now, in this video, we are going to find a solution to this question that was posted on Facebook. Um, thank you very much for everybody who attempted the question. Um, here is the solution. All right. Now, um, looking at this, the question says that TS from the diagram, TS is equal to 16 centimeters. OT is equal to six centimeters. So OT is six centimeters. Here is six centimeters. Let's put the six over there. So that is six centimeters. And OP is equal to 10 centimeters. Calculate the length of PR. So we have to calculate the length of PR. Meanwhile, we've been given that PS is equal to 16. You can see, so PS is 16. So the whole of PS is 16. All right, now if PS is 16 and we have to find PR, that means PR is already inclusive or included in the length of PS. So we are going to use the tangent secant theorem. All right, what does the uh, tangent secant theorem say? Uh, let's say that if a tangent and a secant are drawn from a common point outside to a circle, so outside of a circle to the circle, from a common point to the circle, that is a common <laughs> point to the circle, what happens is that the square of the tangent, right? The square of the tangent is equal to the product of the secant, the length of the secant part of or the length of the outside part of the secant and the length of the entire uh, secant. So this PS is the secant. PR is the outside part of the secant. And then PT is the tangent. Now, whenever a tangent and a radius meet, they form an angle of 90 degrees. So this is 90 degrees, that is the right angle. So now, when we draw that triangle out, that uh, right angle triangle out, let's put here solution. So that is it. So if we draw, we need to find the tangent, which is what? PT. We need to find this tangent, which is what? PT. So that we'll be able to apply the, uh, the tangent secant theorem to find PR. All right. So now let's find P. Uh, T. We can find PT using Pythagoras theorem because this is the hypotenuse, which is PO, which is 10, and then OT, which is 6, so we can find PT using Pythagoras theorem. So we can say that using Pythagoras theorem, so using Pythagoras theorem, we can say that uh, P O squared, P O squared plus O T squared. So, uh, no, that is the o, o P is the hypotenuse. So that is the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. So we can say that OP squared is equal to OT squared, or that's OT squared plus PT squared. We are looking for PT, all right? So now, what we're going to do is let's substitute. OP is 10 centimeters, so we shall put 10 squared over here. This is equal to OT is 6 centimeters, so that is C squared plus our PT squared, all right? Now, what are we going to do here? This is going to give us 100. So this is 100 um, to be equal to 36. That is 6 squared is 36 plus PT squared. And so we shall have 100 minus 36 is equal to PT squared. All right. And so we shall have uh, 64 is equal to PT squared. And so we shall have our PT to be equal to the square root of 64, that is plus or minus the square root of 64. And then we have PT to be equal to um, 
a. All right, so we have pt to be equal to a. Because we can't have the length of the tangent to be negative figure. So we take the positive figure of 8 and say that pt is equal to 8. Now, knowing that pt is equal to 8, so let's put 8 here now because we know that this side is 8. Now let's apply the secant, uh, the tangent secant theorem to find pr, which is pr. Now we have said that tangent squared, so let me write the tangent squared will be equal to outside, let me write it like that, outside uh, times cone. This will explain the principle or the theory to us. All right. Now, what we are saying is that the tangent secant theorem says that when a tangent and a secant are drawn from a point to a circle, what happens is that the length of the tangent, that is the square of the length of the tangent, is equal to the product of the outside, okay, the, the, the outside length of the secant and the length of the entire secant. That is what it says. So that means tangent squared, where is our tangent? This is our tangent, so our tangent squared will be equal to the outside, which is the PR that we are looking for is the outside, times the whole, which is PS, which is 16. So that is very simple. So we say that we shall put here, eight squared will be equal to, or we can just say that, uh, let's say PT, so PT squared is equal to PR, that is the outside, times, the whole of the secant, the, the secant. So that is the whole of the secant is uh, PS. So we shall put PS over here. Then we can substitute. Okay. So PT is eight. So we shall put here eight squared is equal to PR, which we are looking for, times our PS, which is equal to PS is sixteen. All right. All right. Now. We can finish up somewhere here. So let's finish up here. Or if that will be too clumsy, then let us uh, put it up so that our work will still be neat. I do not want to clean any part of the board now. So let's draw this over here and finish up over here. All right, so we have eight squared, that will give us 64. Um, is equal to PR, which we are looking for, times 16, and that will give us a PR to be equal to 64 divided by 16, and so our PR is equal to 64 divided by 16, that will give us 4, and so PR is equal to 4 centimeters, and that is the answer to this question. Now, as you are watching the solution to this question, please look at the subscribe button over there. Uh, just uh, click on the subscribe button so that you will be notified anytime I upload a new video, be it a tutorial or a solution to a question. All right. So thank you very much for watching. Join me in my next and other videos. Bye-bye.